Ooh, what's up for today guys, this is your Magic and today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to make your uh, Gamescom Plantronics 780-788 work on Windows 10. So, as you can see, um, if you try, as you notice, uh, if you try to try to install your Plantronics, the 7.1 surround sound won't work. It's because there's still no driver pub publish published yet. So there's a fix, but the fix is not everything it will only enable the 7.1 surround sound but the hardware um, the hardware place where the button if you know what I'm saying if you have this 780 headset the the blue button for the change of stereo to 7.1 won't be working it's because of the hardware issues or the driver issues so let's go ahead and go to the tutorial so first go to the plantronics.com US product game com 780 then go to the support tab no I mean the overview tab then go to the plantronics uh, game com 780 surround sound on the bottom most part learn then click learn more after that you're gonna be going to download the game com driver it's downloaded as you can see it's only supporting Windows 8 to 8.1 but in our case we won't be uh, focusing on that we have a fix for that so just download it after downloading you will see that it's here Plantronic, Plantronics GC78 780 uh, it will be it's it's like a um, compressed file so if you try to install it it will go directly to the default uh, directory which is the program files 86 plantronics then here then voila it's here so if you actually try to open each one of them or whatever this thing is if you try to set up it it won't work it will just say the in the installation was interrupted so after that uh, so I did some research and found a uh, fix for that. So what you're gonna do is go to the device manager. If you're, I'm um, so I'm actually on Windows 10 and working Windows 10 Pro. So you you must go to the um, device manager. Make sure that your Plantronics is working. Then go to the sound video game controller. This is where the drivers and your what you're actually using is going to be detected so as you can see the Plantronics uh, Gamecom 780 is actually detected it's actually plugged in and as you can see my uh, mic is actually working even if you don't have the 7.1 surround sound your st uh, headset will still work but only in stereo type and also uh, the mic will work and also the volume on the back side of the um, headset will work too so as you can see it's written there then what how, how are you going to make it uh, compatible with the Windows 10 for the driver for as we're speaking the driver just click just right click this one device manager right click it then go to properties then go to driver um, at first glance you will see that the driver version is not Windows 8.1 or I guess it's Windows 8.1 I'm not sure I can't remember because I've already installed it so what you're gonna do next is go to the update driver here then go to so how do you want to search for driver of course not search automatically just go to the browse my computer and then go to the uh, default installation which is the plant uh, if you're gonna be seeing it it's gonna be like this I'm not sure if it's going to be like that too but in my first uh, opening it's like this so to be more exact go to the uh, browse and then you'll see the GC 780 uh, installer just put it there um, backslash like that then GC 780 installer then click OK or just click OK if you have clicked it. Then you the include subfolder must uh, what do you call this must be checked. 
then after that just click next you will see that the best driver software for your device will be installed uh, as for my part it's already installed so you just need to close it then close everything you will see that it's within driver version of Windows 8.1 then close everything after closing everything you must restart your computer then after restarting go back here and go to the uh, there are two ways you can go to the right click your speaker thing go to the playback devices or you can just go to a longer way go to the control panel then go to hardware and sound then sound you will be directed in the same place okay so the next thing you're going to be doing is go to the playback area then find the Plantronics Gamescom 780 you will see that uh, check I mean highlight it then configure if you didn't restart your computer you will see that there will only be one audio channel which is the stereo after restarting you will see you should be seeing if if it doesn't work you should uh, restart the whole thing so if after that you will see you will be seeing quadraphonic 5.1 surround sound 7.1 surround sound so just try to test it from 7.1 to quadraphonic just test it as you can see like this you can determine if it's actually the 7.1 uh, if, if it still feels stereotype I mean stereo channel then just uh, wait after clicking the 7.1 surround sound you just click next be sure that everything is in check front left speakers surround speakers are in check then configuration is complete so if you feel that uh, the 7.1 surround sound is not working uh, then go to the 5.1 if it's still not working then go to the quadraphonic uh, the quadraphonic gives you the the most 7.1 surround sound so this is actually quadraphonic so I guess well I don't I can't determine so I doubt it's 99% that one there's only 1% that it will not work so go to the 7.1 channel just click next 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 and finish con finish installation so after that you will be experiencing the 7.1 surround sound the only thing that doesn't work is the button that changes your, your mode to stereo to 7.1 from stereo to 7.1 so I think that's all for today guys please like and subscribe to my youtube channel I hope I helped you on how to make your Gamecom Plantronics work again and I hope that Plantronics uh, make the drivers soon so that the 7.1 in the stereo will work because I like changing it whenever I try to play music and you know watch movies so I, th I think that's all for today guys please like and subscribe thanks for watching I hope you liked it please give a like so goodbye thanks for watching